Do you need to install window blinds or window shades in one of your windows? Well, I do as well, and in this video, I'll walk you through all of the steps that I follow to get the job done on this window. Let's get right to it. The setup for this installation is pretty simplistic and it involves three brackets because of the width of my window. Yours might only have two, but it's the same process. Now I'm gonna be installing the top down bottom up cellular shade that is made by Blinds Avenue. I bought mine at Home Depot. These function a little bit differently once they're installed, but they install similarly to most other shades. We have to get our mounting brackets in the right place for installation. I like to use the width of the mounting bracket as my measuring tool right off the front of the window. I place my second bracket right behind the first in order to get a similar width from the front of the window to the back of the bracket. Once I have that in place, I just mark a spot with my pencil so I can drill. I follow that same approach all the way across the window in order to get my three brackets marked for drilling. This just ensures that they are the exact same distance away from the front of the window when you do your installation. Just make sure you don't wiggle the brackets because you need them to be parallel to one another. If you have one that's twisted and you have one that's straight, you're not gonna be able to install your blinds properly. Keep that in mind. Now with that third bracket, I don't have a spare that I can use to measure the distance from the window. So I do eyeball this to make sure that I get it right about in the right spot before I install the blind. Once you make your markings, now you can pre-drill your holes. I like to drill into the center of the oval marking. Now if you look at the bracket itself, you'll see that there's an oval right there in the middle. This is where I make my mark when I'm marking it on the window trim. When I drill, I drill right in the middle of that oval so I can move the bracket back and forth and get a little play with it for installation. Now that those holes are drilled, we can pre-drill our screws with the brackets in place. But before we put it in place, here's how it connects. On the top of the window blind, there's a groove that runs the entire distance of it. When you look at the bracket, it has teeth right on the end of it. These teeth push into the bracket. So when you go to install, that's going to go up underneath and then it's going to push in and latch on the backside of the blind. You can see that little latching tooth on the backside of the bracket. When we drill it in, we want the flat back piece to face the window. My quick cheat to keep it square is to use the same bracket method we did when we marked the hole. Now we just need to install the shade on the bracket. To get the shade installed, you have to come in at an angle to catch the front of the bracket in that groove and then twist it up in order to get it snapped into place. As you snap it in, you're not gonna get all three at once. Get that middle one in place first and then you can flex the ends in order to get each of those in place as well. Now with it in place, you simply pull down. Now as with many other blinds, they ship with handles. There's a small handle that you use for the middle section because these are a top down bottom up version. And then there's the larger one that clips right onto the bottom. Don't forget to install these. And now the window shades are installed. But before you get to this step, you might be wondering how to properly measure your windows for these shades. And for that information, click or tap on this video. And until the next time, keep doing it yourself.